My name is Uwe Kersken. I'm the, sh I'm the shareholder of a company called Group 5 Film Production in Cologne. The other shareholders is uh, ZDF Enterprises and a uh, Studio Hamburg company. Uh, we have been uh, quite successful in doing um, so-called hybrid formats where it comes to you know, docudrama or documentaries where um, immediately 50 or 60, or sometimes 70 percent is drama reenactments, including dialogues. So we, they started to ask us uh, approximately four or five years ago to do also dialogues and not only you know, funny acting in the background. And so our, our programs are quite uh, expensive compared to a normal documentary. Many people in Germany, they still cannot differentiate bit between what is documentary and what is a hybrid, what is a, we don't have the right name for it. So, but considering that we do already tons of reenactments which have a movie quality, and as I said, very expensive. Uh, I'll give you an example. Normally, um, uh, you know, when it comes to co-production with Discovery or National Geographic, our shows like The History of China, The Forbidden City, uh, or uh, How Does the World Look Like in 50 Years, it is 45 minutes and it could cost up to 1 million euro. And if you consider that only 50% is reenactment, then you know how, uh, how, I mean, how many talented people I have to use. And so my, my thought was maybe half a year ago to, to get into the um, drama section a little bit more. Uh, as I said, in Germany there are two different universes. You get different articles, different journalists, uh, different press conferences. But I don't care. I just want to get over that, that, that little funny river. And I started to develop a couple of bigger things, which, is, uh, f which would be full drama with the help of my shareholders, but also with other suspects uh, in Europe. Uh, who uh, really want uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, to use me as well to make that happening. We just finished a, a, a big show on, on our first chancellor, who is actually the most beloved person in Germany still, it's Adenauer. But this is of course only for the German audience, nobody will buy that thing, you know. Uh, but uh, then um, I had the idea, after thinking uh, a couple of months, why don't I do what I can, and uh, so I do, not, I do not want to copy detective shows like Tatort, very famous in Germany, or other detective shows, or other series on Mrs. Pilter's uh, books. I don't need to do that, because there, there, there's already a couple of people who do that. So why, why don't I use my ability or my knowledge to put it into the drama thing, and and this is of course old history. With half a year ago, I des decided to start here, to start to to develop a, a big drama series on Alexander the Great. Uh, Ryder uh, was in the in the first step, and he will be uh, still available. Is William J. Macdonald, who actually um, uh, is the creator or the co-creator of Rome. We have decided to do a couple of other things, like um, the life of Donna Gracia Nazi Mendes who is a Jewish noble lady from Portugal in, in the Renaissance, who were pushed out of the country, uh, uh, went through Antwerp, Germany, Italy, and ended up in Istanbul, where the people still today are proud to have this hero uh, 500 years ago. Uh, this is a fantastic story based on a book which was published in America. And we have a, we have, I cannot tell you today, but we have a fantastic cast for that. It's amazing. Uh, it's, it's, it's an Oscar Prize winner who will be playing the main role. And uh, that, that, this is one of the unique selling points uh, when it comes to selling a program which is uh, not the biggest names in the world. Yeah? Then you have, to, take, you have to, to make sure that you have a, go, a good cast or a good showrunner and things like that. I'm, I'm very eager to um, liaise with, with Jean Moito in, from Beta Munich. Uh, because he has many, uh, this company has many advantages when it comes to uh, uh, covering uh, southern Europe or other parts of Europe, whilst my shareholders are um, doing different things better. Uh, but in this field, uh, I, I actually I, I need a liaison with, with, with other partners who are actually more experienced. It's very good to hear that uh, uh, properly uh, made European productions are also expected in America. I mean, not 
hundreds and thousands of, of it. But they, they buy it as the Borgias, Netflix, and the new, new customers come up. And, and so there's more flexibility, more transparency. And of course, the Americans will always try to get the, the, the leading uh, uh, partner. And of course, they have more money. Yeah, fair enough. But I think we, we, uh, European co-production can, can be very fruitful. And there are a lot of subsidy systems here in Europe which we can actually use and things. The magic word, as we, uh, the magic word in the entire four, four days here is actually what they call showrunner. We have this, this showrunner too, but it is, it is a little bit a hidden person. Sometimes it's the shareholder of a company, sometimes it's, it's an a, a executive producer. But the German, the German broadcasters and, some, and the others too, they don't, they don't um, allow to, to, to have this person in the budget. Can you believe that? They want to have a showrunner or an executive producer, but they don't pay for it. So we have to change the tradition. We have to change the thinking. We have to learn how to do writer's rooms and things like that. Not only the one writer is the god. Yeah? So we have to learn that and we have to pay for that. And then we make probably better and better insured programs in the future.